Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Techies. This is our React.js tutorial. Part of this video, I am going to explain folder stitches and files in React application. So this is my created application. Basically, this React application has three folders. The first one is node models. So basically, it contains the all dependencies of our application and the public. So it contains the starter file index.html and some application logo. I will explain it later. So and the source folder, uh, this is a very important folder. Why? Because uh, most of our, around 95% of our changes we are going to do in the source folder only. Here our startup file is the index.js. So basically this index.js just kickstart our application. Here you can see all the dependencies we have just imported off of that. And we are taking, the, using this get element by id is the root. So basically this root is available in the index.html only. So you can see. So while running the application, our component basically rendered inside the div only. Once again, I am going to this index.js. See, so we are taking this root. After that, we are just rendering this our component. Basically this app is our actually our component. I will explain. And this react.strict mode. So basically the strict mode, uh, whenever we are doing any changes, it just compile and showing the warnings or if any error, it will show in the console itself. So using this, uh, we, the developers can identify the problems while the development state itself. Okay. And as I mentioned, this app is the component. See in the top of that we have imported and uh, so this is our app component. So if you see in the app component, we are just imported on CSS file, the CSS file available in the top of that. Uh, if you want to give any specific styles to the component, you can include here. So and this logo. And the very important part is the function app. Here we have the return function. It's returning some kind of HTML content. So we used to say this is the JSX. So basically the JSX is the JavaScript extension. The JSX allows us to write HTML element in the JavaScript and place them into the DOM without any create element or append child. Uh, even direct JavaScript itself also we can generate the HTML elements we can render in the any of the DOM. But if you are using this JSX, uh, this create element and append child is not required. So basically this JSX converts HTML tags into the React element you are not required to use JSX, but JSX makes it easier to write the React application. So that's what we are using here for improving the performance also. And if you want to do any changes in our component level, that also we can do here. Here I have to note one important thing. You can see the class name. Basically for any HTML content be used for the class only, but here we need to use the class name. So anyway, up to the rendering time, it will just converting this class name into the class only. And this is the app.test.js. So this is nothing but our test file. Uh, the stats are almost similar to our Angular application. Even in the Angular application, if you are created any component, we have the CSS file, then HTML, one test file also there. The similar way we have this test file here. If required, we can have otherwise we can delete, that's it. And this is the index.css. So for the application, if you want to apply some global kind of CSS changes, you can include here. So if you want to see the reference in the index.js file, the top of that we just referred. Okay. And then this is logo. So then this report web details.js. This is also kind of performance related thing, but as of now, it's not that much required for the beginners and set of test.js. So basically it will do the setups for the testing related stuff. So we have the packages we just included here. Now this git ignore. So the git ignore, if you are using the source control of git, that related information included in this git ignore. The final is the package log JSON and another one is the package JSON. See this package JSON basically how the dependencies information. So initially I have mentioned all the dependencies are available in this the node model, yes. So the details of the dependencies is available in the package itself only. So see, we have the application name, version, private and depend dependencies. The first three are uh, testing related dependencies. Then this is the React, okay. 
so basically this react uh, will create the hash, uh, dom elements from our uh, jss file and uh, then the react dom so this dependency basically rendering our html elements to the dom and the third one is react scripts basically it's convert the scripts into the browser understanding javascript format that's what we are using this one and the script section and the script that also very important thing uh, here we just uh, initialize the start and the build for running the application for start for uh, taking the build we have to use this build npm build and the third one is for the testing purpose yeah obviously we have the details and now we almost completed this json i mean the package.json this package lock.json this is also similar to our package.json but in the it contains the more details for example i am just considering one of the dependency okay react scripts so in the package.json it has only the version and just a name it is included in the dependencies but if you go to the package.log it contains the detail of information let me show you see so this is the file available in the node underscore models the version the resolved url and integrity level so many details there so it has any dependency means these all the informations are available in the package log that json only okay now let me move on this uh, public folder here we have one application icon so we all know this is our react js icon and html we already discussed this is the start of file for the application and we have two logos then manifest this is uh, while we are taking the build, it will be very useful. And robot uh, text, uh, basically this is used for this SEO. And this uh, re, yeah, readme.md. This file basically provides some notes about the application. So it's showing what are the scripts are available for running the application. We have to use the npm shard, npm test. So if you want to uh, refer some repository, the, these all informations are available in the readme.md now i am going to just run the application and i will show you how the our components are gets rendered in the div of id root so npm start see now the react script starts just to begin so we can see so the react script start that's what we have mentioned like this in case if you are changing some other name also then we have to use like npm whatever name you are giving this particular area we supposed to change it accordingly so look like our build in progress it will take some time once the build is completed uh, it will just redirect to our browser and there we can see our outputs okay look like our build is completed it's just a redirected you can see the output and also in the application side just to see so this is our local host url and based on our current network it will generate network related output also see and let me just inspect this one see the idea of root so our component related informations are just rendered inside this root you see the text and everything now let me try to do some changes so in the land react i am going to change this is the land react application where it is yeah here Learn React application. So once I did some changes, it's again just compiling. Okay, see the compiled successfully. So once you go to the browser, you can see the changes like Learn React application. Okay, once you are click this URL, it's just redirecting to the official site of React.js. So if you want to get more details, you can refer the documents.
thank you thanks for watching this video in my next video i am going to explain the components how to create the component and how to use the components in our react application we can see everything in the details so i request you to subscribe my channel stay tuned for the next video thank you thanks for watching